Liverpool are hoping to beat Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester United to the signing of Porto winger Luis Diaz. In fact, he's said to be Jurgen Klopp's number one target right now. Julian Laurent here to talk about the player. What's the latest on this move then, Jules? Well, the latest is that uh, the talks are uh, well ongoing, very positive between the two clubs. That Luis Diaz wants to join Liverpool. Uh, he's currently with, with Colombia. We saw him losing uh, against Peru tonight, but he could do his medical uh, back in Colombia uh, while he's there with the national team and sign his contract with Liverpool. He's someone that they've been looking at for months and months now. This is not something unlike Tottenham. That has just has just happened. That, that is, they sent an offer to Porto. Is a player that they've been following. That all the data that they have, that they gathered on him, it just points perfectly to the kind of play that he is, that fits Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp so well. So he wants to go. The two clubs are very nearing an, uh, an agreement for the deal. He had a release clause of 90 million euros. Liverpool will get him for for much less than that. And I think very soon Luis Diaz will be a Liverpool player. It seemed as though Liverpool had abandoned plans to bring in players in this January transfer window. This has got to be good news for them if they do get a player like this, Stevie. Listen, this guy's exciting. Uh, I think you have to look at the, the situation with Salah as well. You know, at, at some point, Liverpool have to replace Mane and Salah. Uh, and this is a guy, and there aren't many in world football that you think or you can believe could actually step in right now and actually produce because this guy right now is, is in the form of his life, in my opinion, um, <laughs> and he's only going to get better. He fits the, po the profile, 60 million, just exactly the way that they got money, similar type of age, same with Salah, goal scorers, excitement. You talk about pace. I mean, this guy has got pace to burn. He has every single thing that Klopp has in his team right now. So to bring somebody like him in, Absolutely fantastic if you're a Liverpool fan. You talk about a replacement. Salah hasn't signed his contract yet, Jules. Is this potentially Jurgen Klopp looking at his replacement? Of course, and even if Salah signs, I mean, the front three, Firmino, Mane and Salah will very soon be in the 30s. Diego Jota is 25, Luis Diaz is 25. This is the next cycle now. Even if you allow that front three staying another season, for example, or, or whatever, you need, you need at some point to get younger players in your team because Mane and Salah won't, be, won't last forever, of course. So you bring them in and we, we saw already the impact that Jota had on this team. Uh, and I think Luis Diaz would be exactly the same. Stevie is, is spot on. He's got all the qualities to be... He's such a club player and such a, a current Liverpool style of football player that he will fit in so well. And then, and then in, when you're in a much stronger position, to Mosala, listen, either you sign in our terms or we already have not just one, but now two players capable of replacing you, at least on the pitch. Diaz is not going to score as many goals as Salah straight away, but certainly I think Liverpool would be a bit more comfortable to, to deal with the most Salah situation, whether he signs or not, stays or not, because they will have people that can replace him. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.